If you're like roughly 93% of the 323 million Americans, then you are subjected to 32 gigabytes of information every single day. And if you're like most people who just heard that, you're thinking, what in the world did he just say? I'm Jerry Sandusky. These are the rules of engagement, presentation tips to help you be more effective in front of an audience. And in this video, I'll show you how to take detailed, hard, factual data and turn it into a much more palatable presentation that your audience not only understands, but actually enjoys. So let's try this again. If you're like 93% of the 323 million Americans, you're subjected to 32 gigabytes of information every day. That's a whole lot to try to get your head wrapped around. But think of it this way. If you're like most people, you're subjected to enough information every day to fill books that could line a bookshelf that spans three football fields in length. That's a lot of information you get hit with every day. That second way of presenting it, a lot easier for you to grasp because in your mind's eye, you can see what I'm talking about. Numbers, as I've shared in a previous video, don't necessarily link up to an audience because whether you're looking literally at a picture or a picture in your mind's eye, your mind connects to pictures much faster than numbers. And it can link a picture to something it already knows. A number tends to just float out there in free open space and it doesn't have the impact. Take a look and a listen to my friend Linda Rosenberg in her opening presentation to the National Council for Behavioral Health's NatCon 17. This is a crowd of thousands of people and Linda has to deliver some real hard data and she does it in a way that the crowd can see. 800 billion. Do you know how much 800 billion is? We had to look it up. $800 billion we give every teacher in America from kindergarten through high school a $250,000 bonus. It would buy a $4 million home for every homeless family. And better yet, it could put all 535 members of Congress on a Russian rocket. <laughs> <laughs> and keep them there until the next election. Many times we have to use lots of raw data, big numbers in our presentations. But as Linda did there, if you can take some of those numbers, not all of them, not all the time, but some of them, and turn them into a picture that the mind's eye can see immediately, it connects you as a presenter to your audience in a way that just throwing out big numbers will not help you. Here's an easy technique to help you do the exact same thing in a future presentation. Take the numbers you have to present and find images that roughly estimate the size of those numbers. An example, 70,000 equals a sold out football stadium. Six million would roughly equal the population of Maryland. $1.5 billion, that's enough for everyone in the states of California, Texas, and Florida to have a full meal at Outback Steakhouse. Every single one of those people. If you match enormous numbers to everyday places, pictures, people, and events, the impact will amaze you. Consider this. Viewers watch 5 billion hours of video on YouTube every day. 5 billion. That's like every person in Washington, D.C. watching videos for 20 hours a day, every day, for a full calendar year. That's a lot of video. See my point? Turn your numbers into pictures that the mind's eye can see and your impact will be quicker and last longer with your audience. And again, you don't have to do it for every single number in every part of your presentation. Just a few sprinkled throughout and you'll find a much bigger impact, a much more longer lasting impact as well. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know the perfect picture that's had a big impact in one of your presentations. For now, the haze in the barn.